Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? Matt Antonelli here, and today we're answering your questions. Today's question comes from Instagram. It comes from Win VA Sports Cars. Thank you for the question. They said, what was your best play you ever made in your baseball career? All right. Good question. I had to think about this one for a while because I made so many great plays. I'm just kidding. No, I didn't. Um, but I did make a couple of plays. Some people might call them lucky. Um, other play people might call them lucky, uh, but I did my best play ever was actually not as a professional. It was in the Cape Cod league. Um, let's talk about, hold on, hold that thought for a second. I've made some pretty bad plays at the major league level, right? I wish there was something cool. I could say like, man, I made this great play in the big leagues. It was awesome. No, no, no. I, I made, made basically routine plays in the big leagues. I made a couple of errors. You guys saw my throw against Milwaukee. Uh, if you haven't, if you if you haven't seen it, um, you're on YouTube right now. Just type in like Matt Antonelli horrible throw or Matt Antonelli throw against the Brewers or something like that, and then the search bar on on YouTube. It'll come up. Watch it. You'll throw up. So I made that play. Uh, I made my, what an embarrassing play by Antonelli. Ben Scully said I made an embarrassing play. Not He didn't say I made it. He said, he, made, he said, we made it. The Padres made it, but I was involved in it. So I made that horrible play. If you haven't seen that, just type that in. Type Matt Antonelli, like, I don't know, embarrassing play or something like that. That'll come up. Um, I'm not answering the question right now. I'm talking about all my bad plays, but unfortunately, there were a lot of them. And so they all stick in my mind. But my best play of my life was in the Cape Cod League. So Cape Cod League, in case you don't know, in case you're new to the channel, Cape Cod League is a summer collegiate league. So it, it's basically a league for like, some of the best players in the country when it comes to college players, right? So I played for the Falmouth Commodores for two years. And, uh, man, this one play, I even surprised myself on this play. The reason is because I didn't even see it go in my glove, okay? I haven't told many people that, but I didn't. So we've got, not only was it a great play, it was a great play, guys, uh, but we had a no-hitter going. It was the ninth inning. We're playing at Chatham. So we're playing at Chatham A's. Ever, any, ever seen summer catch? That's who we're playing, Chatham A's. And uh, um, what was that guy's name? Freddie Prince Jr. Was that his name? He was on the mound. I'm just kidding. He wasn't on the mound. But I'm playing third base. It's the ninth inning. We have a no hitter going. And batter hits a ball directly over my head at third base. Okay. So I turn to run. And I'm not going to lie. As I'm running for this ball, I'm thinking in my mind, I'm not going to catch it. But I have to run out here and at least try because we have a no-hitter going. And so I'm sprinting. It's not a high pop-up. It's kind of like a low, shallow pop-up. And I'm sprinting out. And I don't even, I can't see the ball. I'm looking like this, but I can't see it. And apparently the ball comes right over the brim of my cap. And I don't know why I did this. I didn't see it. I couldn't hear it. I didn't feel it. No idea. Maybe the crowd noise. I don't know. I dive out and put my glove out and I hit the ground and I tumble around and I get up and like as I'm getting up, I don't see the ball anywhere and I just look at my glove and the ball is in my glove and I was like, that's right, I had it all along and I throw the thing in and everyone, I don't know if everyone was in shock or what, um, I still don't know how the ball went in there. I never saw it. I just sprinted threw my body and my glove out, tumbled into the ground, looked at my glove, and there was the ball. Um, usually in my career, I would look at my glove and I'd be like, shit, the ball's not in my glove. There it is on the ground. I go pick it up. But this time, it was in my glove. And uh, it was a pretty good play. Um, it was a no-look play, a blindfolded play. And the situation was huge. Two, uh, not two outs. That would have been awesome if there was two outs. But I preserved the no-hitter. Now, we ended up with two outs. They actually hit a... a oh, man, what happened? It was a close play. Did he beat it out at first? Something happened. And uh, they got a hit with two outs in the ninth. That really stunk. Uh, but anyways, the play was still great. And uh, the reason why I say the play is a really good play is because that happened back in... What year was that? 2001, maybe? 
man, that was a long time ago. I think it was like 2001 probably. And I still run into people that either played in that game, coached in that game, were at that game, and people would be like, you made the greatest catch I've ever seen in my life. And I said, that's cool. I made the greatest catch that I've never seen in my life because I didn't see it. But somehow I made it. So that would definitely be, I, I wish I had it on video. No one, I have not been able to find anyone that got this catch on video, unfortunately. But that would have been awesome. If it was on video, it'd be on this YouTube channel, but it wasn't. Um, so out of all the plays, that stands out the most. I made other plays in my career, mostly when I was young. I remember like a couple of really good slow roller plays when I was younger. I made a play in high school where I turned a double play by diving and I caught a ball and jumped up and touched the bag with my hand and threw it the first. When people say that was a really good play, that's probably one of the better plays I've made in my life. Um, but no play will ever top the play I made in the Cape Cod League. I wish it was in the big leagues. It wasn't. If you want to go laugh at me and see horrible plays, do what I said. Type those into the YouTube search bar and you'll find them there. That's all we have. Thanks for your question. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Give it a thumbs up. All that good stuff. If you want your question answered, put it in the comment section below and I'll do so. We'll talk to you later.